I think the problem, uh, yes, I think the problem with this field and what has bedeviled this field over the years is false claims. And there are all kinds of things uh, that have been claimed about uh, 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 ways you can slow down or stop aging. And what I would say they have in common uh, is that, you know, an, until uh, anything uh, that was uh, claimed that's not based on very recent science is not true. It's baloney. And um, so I wouldn't believe any claim uh, uh, of an anti-aging procedure uh, and uh, would really look at claims that are grounded in current science because I think the science of aging has really only taken off in the past decade and it ha has reached a level of uh, uh, quality that you can trust it and that it would lead to, to interventions that would actually work. That's only happened recently. So the, the thing to look at in any claim like this vitamin or that uh, treatment or that uh, 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 bath, whatever it may be, or cream, is is it based on the recent science of aging or not? And if it's not, I would tend uh, not to believe it. Even if it is, I would look at whether it's based on good science uh, or not. But there is some good science now in the area of aging. No. No, I think that uh, what they're saying is, is uh, it's a good example, I think, of something that's not based on uh, recent science in the field of aging. And so, uh, you know, I, I, I don't think that uh, there's any reason to believe that it's true. I mean, it, it may turn out that it is true. I mean, his basic idea is we're going to make incremental discoveries in aging that will make us live a little bit longer and give us a little bit more time to make the next discovery, which will make us live still longer, and then we'll make more discoveries, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. Um, and, uh, you know, that would be great. But uh, that's certainly not scientific thinking, and that's not based on, on current science. So I think that what we're talking about, if you look at all the genetic interventions um, that have been described, and we should really get into discussing uh, some of that in a few minutes, and all the dietary interventions that have been described that promote longevity, uh, what you're looking at is something like... Uh, 50% as a, a, a maximum uh, extension, I would, I would think. So it's nothing to sneeze at. And uh, it's, we think, uh, accompanied by an increase in the number of years we stay healthy. And if we can tap into that and even develop it so that we get some of the benefit, let's say 10 years of healthier living, so instead of having to retire and uh, uh, stop uh, functioning at a, a high level at age 70 or 75, you push that back now 10 years, I think that's a, a major uh, change in our society.